um, with the Mate 20 Pro, QRY introduced its own proprietary standard for SD cards um, called the QRY Nano SIM. And I talked a little bit about it previously, but uh, at this point, I want to talk a bit about a problem with uh, uh, own proprietary format like this. Um, it has been done in the past. I think it has never been really a good idea. Um, the main problem for me at the moment is, um, yeah, actually, in Europe you can only get a 120 gigabyte card. It's a bit cheaper than the U than you guys in the US have it. Um, I think here it's 49 euros at the moment. But um, yeah, you see, we have not really availability for the cards this is the one thing and the other thing is they are freaking expensive so the 265 gigabyte one would be 149 euros on amazon and chip from china so i really have no idea what you're getting if you're buying one of those um probably they will get on the market somewhere they probably will get um, a bit cheaper with the, with the time and in the case that some other um, smartphone and camera manufacturers are jumping onto the format, um, it could it could really be a success. But uh, usually, this is not what is happening. They um, usually pro uh, proprietary formats do stay proprietary, and yeah, that's quite quite normal in my experience. So yeah, so as I said, the, the price quite high, and I think the 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 safe space is, is only part of the argument. I think um, making it the same size as the as the uh, nano sim which you have to enter um, puts in a bit more sim symmetry. So I think this is much probably does more than uh, only than the size itself. Um, but of course, on the Mate 20 Pro, you have the problem, so to say, that you cannot use a dual sim and a, a memory card anyway. So. But it's not a problem for me, but for some people this can be can be an issue. But this is something which everybody is doing at the moment, so I'm not too sure. But yeah, as I expected, this thing the things are expensive. There's no real market because there are only very few sellers who have them. Uh, so in Europe, you only get 128, and it's about twice the price as a, a similar card in micro SD would cost. So yeah, that sucks a bit. So. See you guys around.